Hey everyone, this is Joel Klein with Klein Media. I recently made a promotional video for a local photographer here in Minnesota, so hope you like it, and here's the video. When I pick up the camera and I go out to a shoot, put the camera up to my eyes and I, and I look through there and I get that perfect lighting. When you get that moment and you get that capture and everything just falls into place, that's really what I do this job for. My name is Josh with Josh Anderson Photography. My passion for photography started off uh, when I was really little. Basically when I started picking up a floppy disk camera, if you remember those. My passion for photography really grew when I got my very first camera. It was a Samsung 12 megapixel, five time zoom, little point and shoot camera. When I got that camera is really when my, my passion for photography kind of took off. After I got out of uh, high school and into college, it's kind of when Josh Anderson photography really started to take shape. Wanting a desire to photograph people and taking those skills that I learned from landscapes and moving them to portrait photography. My style is, is going to be kind of rolling with how you are. And my style is to capture how you are as a couple or how you are as a family or how are, you are as an individual. And uh, to be able to figure out how to capture that uniquely is kind of where my style is starting to fit into. And to make you feel comfortable yet to put an image forth that makes you feel happy about it, that makes you feel uh, some type of uh, great emotion about it. And to be able to capture those images uh, really makes them unique. So I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I just really liked uh, working with uh, Josh. He's a really talented photographer, mainly does weddings and portraits. I just felt so honored that he hired me to uh, make himself a promo video. And it's just really easy working with uh, a creative person like him who just kind of understands like the process and the workflow and you know what it takes to put it together. So go check him out online and uh, I think you'd really like his stuff. So I'm here to show you some behind the scenes footage too uh, that my wife shot while I was there too. So thanks, Chelsea. Also during this whole COVID time, uh, I never really saw myself in a mask uh, wearing one. And looking at the footage now, the behind the scenes footage, it looks like I just robbed the Best Buy and filming with the camera and gimbal I stole. <laughs> so what was the goal? What was the purpose behind this video? My thinking was, you know, you can see his pictures on his Instagram. You can see his prices and stuff on his website but you can't really get a feel for who he is and what the experience is like doing a photo session with him. And that was kind of my focus for this video. I wanted to show the evolution of how he became a photographer, what he does to prepare for a photo shoot and what that experience is like with that photo shoot. I shot this video on a Panasonic G7 and I also flew my Mavic Air 2. One of the challenges for this film was that we decided to film at this park and it was pretty close to an airport. When we sat down to like interview Josh, planes that would fly above us and would cause some noise. So sometimes we had to pause and stop. I'm sorry, I might have to have you say that again. Because <laughs> of the plane? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> what also proved challenging was flying the drone in that area. Luckily, I'm a part 107 pilot. I'm able to fly the drone in controlled airspace legally. So luckily I got Lance approval to fly only up to 100 feet with my drone. And I mean, does this video need drone footage? No, but I mean, come on, I'm a sucker for drone footage. Some of the drone shots really worked, especially like during like the photo session scenes, some of the tree branches in the foreground while you're seeing Josh and his subjects also in the background. Kind of reminded me of Lord of the Rings a little bit with those big sweeping helicopter shots. So what worked in the film? I think that first sequence of him pulling his gear out of his truck, putting his camera together, putting the straps on, I really like those sound effects and how quick it was. It was also fun shooting in the tall grass too because as I was, you know, panning with like the like camera on the gimbal too, you get these this cool sort of depth with the tall grass, like you sort of see the tall grass in the foreground moving as Josh is doing his thing. I think one of the moments that I'm proud of that I caught was getting the woman laughing and Josh laughing during their photo sessions, just to sort of convey 
uh, that sort of relaxed, fun atmosphere that Josh has with his clients in the photo session. So where are some opportunities for growth? For me, I feel like I could really have done better in lighting Josh during his talking portions. I didn't really have any reflectors at the time or diffusion, so luckily it was overcast, so I didn't have a bright sunny day to worry about. So all in all, I really liked the video. I think Josh really likes it too. He posted it on his social media, so big thanks to Josh for uh, hiring me for making that video. It was really fun to put together, and I just like collaborating with uh, different creative people like that. If you have any comments or questions about what I did in this video, please uh, post a comment and I'll uh, be sure to answer them. So I hope you guys really liked the video and uh, maybe I'll do this again someday where I break down another video that I did. But for now, I uh, just hope you like it. And uh, if you want to see more of our work, you can go to kleinmediallc.com. A link to that will be in the description. So with all that said, I hope you have a good day and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.